Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I am Penge and welcome back to Parkitect and the Coral Caldera campaign level where last time out we put in the Doom Plummet. So yes, we installed the, what I think is fantastically named anyway, Doom Plummet. So it's one of these rides where you sit on a seat and then it propels you upwards at great speeds so it makes you think like you're going to fly off into space and then it kind of drops you down again at great speeds so it looks like you're going to smash into the ground and this is, this is somehow fun. I, I don't know, I just have a cup of tea and read a nice book or something but whatever people seem to enjoy it and then wrapped around the doom plummet is el presidente's coaster so a little junior roller coaster that sort of wraps around it i mean it wasn't ideal kind of i wanted it to be really high and to sort of roll around it in a big sort of sort of a tumbling kind of spiral but i couldn't quite get that to work because because i'm useless so that's kind of what it does but look at the queue for it Look at the queue for this. It's very, very well received indeed. So what we could do is, what we could do is, because the queue is pretty much full, I think what we might do is, let's notch the price up. It's currently $5. Let's push that up to 6 There we go. Well, not 6 10 6 So if that's 34 people in the queue, already, if they stay in the queue, no, I'm knowing the price has gone up, that's an extra $34 we just made. That pays for one person's wages, I think. That pays for one of the people's wages, like the hauler's wage or whatever. Now, there are a few things that we need to do kind of in the immediacy. Now, one thing I have noticed that I've missed because I'm silly is that there's quite a few of these little pavilion things missing. I missed one just there covering the end of that queue. And then other queues also now do not have these pavilion things over them. And I kind of like the idea of these. I like these covering the queues so people do not get rained on. Basically, when they're waiting in the queue, it's all lovely and fine. So there we go. That's good. That's covered up. That is covered up. Oh, why have I not put them over the actual queue bits themselves? That's a bit silly, isn't it? So yeah, let's drop it over all these. Look. So we'll have to sort of... Can we just do it along? Oh no, you, you have to click individually for each one of these. You can't click and drag, I'm afraid. Oh, and we put that in as well. We put in a little sort of carousel just because it's a nice, simple, straightforward ride. It doesn't cost very much money and I'm sure in time it will begin to pay for itself. Right, okay. So all those are in. Uh, ah, no, they're not. That's a, that's a total lie up here as well. We want to put these up here. Now, I don't think I'll be able to put one. Can I put one there? I can. It's a very, very high one of those. Okay. And then this area here, the original plan was to have this all covered up as well. So like a nice little area where you can come and have some you know, food and drink and what have you. So we'll cover that up as well like that. So I think that's pretty good. So we've got some covered areas. Covered areas, which means that if it's raining and stuff, it's all fine. It's all lovely and good. The people don't need to worry about getting wet. Although, well, to be fair, does that mean it's going to impact our umbrella sales? Oh, I don't know. I don't think it will. I think it'll all be fine. It'll all be fine. So now we need to get ourselves a path sorted because these things are taking a long time to get stocked. And there was a message somewhere. Where was it? There. No. Okay, there was a message somewhere. Maybe not on that particular one, but one of the little message feedback things from the people in the park said, I don't want to see them hauling those things round because that's rubbish. So they got a little bit sick of the sight of our staff hauling the supply boxes around from over here, where the little supply depot is, all the way through the park to these shops here. So what we need to do is we need to get ourselves a little underground path going on. Now this might be <laughs> slightly more complicated than I would like it to be. So let's hide the decor. No, that's visual stuff. Let's hide the scenery. There we go. Right. And we need that to go under the ground. So let's start a downward tunnel going like that. And it can go down twice. Okay, lovely. So that's gone into the ground. That's connected. Then we want it to go to the to the left. Like, oh, crikey, okay, to there. And then we just need it to kind of go straight on for quite some way. The thing is, I can't see where it's kind of going. This is very difficult. It's where that circle is, look. Right, okay, so it, it's kind of going along to there, to there. Then we want it to turn right. Oh, no, hang on, no, then... Oh, do you know what? That's fine. That's, that's absolutely fine. It can do that. So we'll have it coming up here, look. Kind of to there. Is that a bit too far? Um, Jay, you know, probably not, Jay. It probably needs a couple of things to actually, a couple of squares to actually get back up to the surface. So then it needs to turn left and then go forward, forward, forward. And then again, forward and again, forward. So it's level with this end bit here. And then we want it to go left. No, hang on. No, forward and then forward and then left, but also left and up and then left and up again. Okay. Yes, there we go. So now we have a path running underneath the park all the way from here. 
where the actual depot thing is, underground, along, 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 and all the way to just there, where they can come up and stock those things without having to walk about on the surface and annoy our customers, because our customers are appalled by the sight of this. Now, what I might need to do is, I might need to employ some more people. I might need one more hauler, and potentially one more cleaner as well. I don't think we've got uh, yeah, enough janitor. So let's hire another janitor. Janitor Elizabeth Blackburn. Okay, that'll do. Yeah, we'll put you in there, look. Lovely. And then we'll hire another hauler, because we only have one. So that's probably not good either. So there we go. Two more of those. We've got one mechanic, one security, and one entertainer. Okay, that's all fine. That's all good. I don't mind that so much. So that's that sorted. They can get from there to over there without walking through the park, and people should be happy with that. Now, a lot of people in the comments have said, also, people don't like looking at the staff pass. That gives off a bad sort of decor rating. This is going to have a little check of that. Yeah, they are giving off a bad decor rating, as are those loos. The loos are encased, however, which is fine, but this bit here is not. So we need to do something with this. We need to box in this path as well, make it look slightly less rubbish. So let's change this. Let's drag this out maybe to over here. We'll put a little door in there, cover this thing up with one of those thingamajiggers, whatever they might be. So we'll grab, say, that wall, like that. And then we need to just expand this thing out, if you like. So yeah, we'll have it kind of going maybe back this way. Right, so if we rotate, rotate around the correct way, you fool. Like this, look, we'll have that going to say there, a backing bit just here. And then we'll have a bit there, and then, I think in there, <laughs> there is a little tiny... A door! There we go. So we'll put a door on... Uh, actually, can we put a door just there? No. In fact, yeah, we might need to put a door just there. Let's put a door just there. We'll get rid of that fence. Get rid of that door. And then we'll copy that wall. Rotate it round. So we've got a wall there and a wall there. Just to box this in a little bit, because it looks not very good. I don't think people are going to be happy with it. Now, the only thing is, how are we going to do this? <laughs> this is this is going to end badly, is it? Right, hang on, hang on. Rotate it round, like that. And I'll have a bit like that. And then we can copy the roof sections. So twist those on. So that's fine. I don't mind that bit. That's all covered up and it's all fine. That's good. Now, how are we going to handle this bit? Well, that can go like that. It's a nice roof section-y thing. Um, and that can go like that, and then this bit could have its own little pointy roof. Is there a pointy roof? That looks very silly with those bits in the middle there, doesn't it? That looks a little bit weird. Hang on, how can we, can we somehow, what's that, a wall? That's not going to help just there, is it? That's going to be a bad thing because that's the wall in the way. Of course, that's the wall that's pushed higher up to fill in that gap. No, we don't want that. Okay. How about then, can we demolish that section and that wall and that wall? Because no one needs to see them anymore. Yay! So it's just a big old plain roof. And then, is there a pointy roof? Is there a little pointy bit of roof? Roof. Is there a pointy roof anywhere? That isn't one of those. Like a normal, just pointed, pointy roof. Uh, a roof peak. Do you know what? That probably wouldn't be so bad, would it? If we raise that up... And then flip it round. The thing is, what's going to go in that gap? What is going to fill that gap up? Aha! One of these! A half wall peak! So yeah, okay, so we'll grab that. We'll make that the same colour as everything else. And then we'll raise it up, up, up. And it can go there and one there. And then we'll get ourselves the actual roof, roof peak. We'll change the colour of that to be the orange colour we've got everywhere else. We'll flip it round, raise it up. And bosh, it goes in just there. That... That looks very good. I like that. And now, if we take a look at that on the decor... Um, yeah, now we can't even see that if we hide the scenery. Yeah, now that is giving off still bad decor, but it's hidden. It's now hidden away in this kind of lovely box type creation. <laughs> I mean, I know they're a little bit boring, but it's fine. It's a box. It's lovely. It's a big old box with lots of things in it, so it's fine. Okay. That's that done. Right, now we might need to get on with actually building the park up a bit, because we've spent quite a bit of money on faffing about with tunnels and paths and boxes to cover up bad decor rating. How about we put in some rides? Now, does that mean our science team are nearly done? Ah! We are going to get ourselves a new coaster. Or did we get a new coaster? I can't remember. No. No, we didn't. But we are nearly at the point where I think we're going to get a coaster. They're cleaning up the research lab, so imminently... We should get ourselves a new type of roller coaster. So when is that going to happen? 
Umbrellas has been out of stock. Yeah, well, we're on that now. We're on that. They should hopefully get stocked a little bit quicker. Hopefully those things will be uh, working a little bit quicker. Um, okay, right. When is this going to happen? When are we going to get our research stuff done? Um, the last completed wipeout. Oh, no. Are they cleaning up the research lab from wipeout? Is that what they're doing? Is that what they're doing? Because they're currently working on nothing. That's what's going on, isn't it? Oh, I got all excited there. Now they're working on coasters. Oh, damn you brain for not remembering anything. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Um, I wonder what the queue is like for that still. Yeah, the queue for that coaster is very, very healthy indeed. Okay, speed time, uh, put time back down to normal. What do we want to build next? We've got one of each of those. We've got, ah, now, Wipeout. We don't have Wipeout. That's a new thing that's been added. That's a new ride that's been added. A circular ride that spins quickly while tilted at an angle. <laughs> no, thank you. So it kind of goes up with this. It's a similar sort of thing to this up here. So can we fit Wipeout into this gap up here? Yes, we can. Yes, we can indeed. Okay, it could go just there, look. And then we can build it down to the path over that way. Does that raise it up? I think that makes it higher. Um, okay. Do you know what? If it's at height 7, that's absolutely fine. I'm not that bothered. <laughs> should be okay. So I think if we put that in... 1,760, but we are making 472 93 a month. We've actually got profit. Good Lord. Okay, so we'll put that... Do you know what? Let's have that go in there. We'll put that in. Then want the exit there. We'll have the entrance. Uh, no, I've got it the one way around again. <laughs> I keep thinking... No, right, hang on. Right. Way in. Way in. Up there. Way out. Just there. Then we need to extend the path so i believe we need to go into there and select that so the path is going to keep going that way and then we need to have a path bit that goes there that then goes up and then straight and then straight lovely so that connects that up that's very welcome then we need q q q q uh let's copy uh oh now uh, that bit of q lovely okay so copy that and we'll have it going up Let's have it going in like that to begin with. And then we'll have it going upwards from there. So we can go up like that. So when you when you get to the actual point of the coaster, it's actually level with it there. So I don't so much mind that. Now, again, it hasn't done the trees, which is a surprise, I'll be honest. It hasn't sorted out the trees. Right, hang on. How did we, did we demolish them like that before? Yeah, so destroy those trees. Farewell trees. I thought it would take them out, but clearly, clearly it does not. Okay, and we'll grab those things and we'll cover the queue. Oh, might need to make it a bit higher. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. How does that? No, that's floating. There, that's about the right height, I think. So like that, like that. And then we're going to have to bring it down a bit to the ground for this bit. So like that, like that, like that. Now this might look a bit naff to be honest but it's going to be sort of in the middle so do you know what bosh that'll do it's covered up yay for the queue okay so the queue is done right let's uh let's do this let's change the colors of this we don't want it to be red how about a lovely that horrible orange color but there we go right that can be gray it's not very really bright is it green a oh, green yeah why not and that thing can be what color is that bit red yeah that'll do like that yeah, whatever. That's fine. That's fine. Right, reduce the maintenance cost down a little bit so the maintenance budget can come down ever so slightly. And you only get three rounds, I'm afraid. You get three rounds and it's going to cost you four of your money to go on that. Thank you very much. Uh, Wipeow is not a very good name, is it? What should we change the name to? There we go. Instead of wipe out, we're going to call it wipe up, brackets, the vomit. <laughs> because that's what you're going to be doing if you're going on this terrifying thing. Also, I think I can see a tree. I can see a tree in the mechanisms of this thing. That is not going to be good, is it? Can we click the tree? Yeah, there we go. Let's just demolish the tree from under there. There we go. Yeah, I don't understand why the trees haven't sort of been automatically stamped on as, you know, as we build a great big ride there. But never mind. Okay, let's open that. So that is another ride. That we've got available now for people to come and uh, have fun and lure more people into the park to get us closer to our goal. So currently, yeah, we're on, we've got the overall park rating of 70%, but we're not even, we're a quarter of the way through the 800 park tickets. I mean, we could be here for a long, long time. <laughs> we could be here forever. So uh, we're going to do it by the end of December year two. Good grief. Okay, 
So really, we want to get to um, we want to get to four hundred. We want to get to four hundred tickets sold because that gives us the um, that gives us a steel coaster, and I think a steel coaster is probably going to be a very big draw. I'd love to get a coaster going all the way around the edge of the island. I think that would be tremendous. It would probably be massively expensive and really impractical, but I would love to get a coaster going as near to the edge of the island as we could in a great big massive loop. And it could just go literally up and down. I'm not even that bothered. It doesn't need to do twirls or anything exciting. It can just go, uh, just be like waves, just go all the way around the edge. I think that would be great. I think that would be really good. And a steel coaster will probably do well for that. So maybe, I mean, how many have we sold now? We're on 207. Let's take a look. We're on uh, 234. So we are getting some more people in. 235. So that is creeping up. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to just sort of leave that for a while. Just leave it running. Leave the game running for, say, a couple of months. And just see what happens. We'll get some money in, which will be very, very welcome anyway. And then, oh, and also, that might push us closer to getting a new coaster. Ah, we're working on a wooden coaster. Ah, now wooden coasters. I did a good wooden coaster before. Oh, and everything's broken. <laughs> the ocean swing is broken. It's been struck by lightning. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that this thing? It's been struck by lightning and it's going crazy. Are there people on it? Oh, there are. <laughs> May help them. Maybe stop this ride. Oh, you poor people. You poor people. Hang on. Have you got any thoughts about that? D Jose Jones says, I want to go on Ocean Swinger. Well, how quickly you must have changed your mind. When you got on it, it got struck by lightning and then you didn't get off it while it was spinning around like a crazy thing. Oh, dearie me. I apologise. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Okay. So we've got that in. Right. What else? What other rides have we got? So they're all in. The swinging ship is not in, but I want to get that over the water. However, we could now put that in over the water. We could get that in just here. Because we've got the path all the way up to here. So we could kind of get that sorted. Now, is that the side they're going to join on? Uh, yeah, I don't want it like that. That looks a bit naff, doesn't it? I kind of, Yeah, I like it there. Let's get this in. 1,260 monies. Let's pause it for a second. So can that go just there? Over the water. I think that's the perfect place for it. Can we build it? Yes, we can. Okay. So we can come in maybe at this far side. Just here. That could be the entrance. And then the exit can be just here. And then we need to grab uh, paths again. Oh, the path's sorted. So then we need it to go like that. And then how about the path going maybe along the edge of the water like that? Might be quite nice. So let's delete that one there. So the path going along the edge of the water. So it's pretty. It looks nice. It's a lovely place to go. And then the path will have to kind of go up this way. A bit. Now, how are we going to handle this? This is going to be the queue. So the queue maybe needs to kind of come in and round there. In fact, no, maybe we don't need the path to do that at all. Let's grab us a queue. Um, that one, preferably. Hang on. Grab. Oh, no, it's already done, isn't it? Of course, it I selected it earlier. So the queue can do that, like that, over the water, which I do quite like. And then it can come round that way. And then it can kind of come in back over the water and then to there. So it can be a fairly long queue. I don't know how popular that thing is going to be. I'm not really sure. It's out in the middle of nowhere. It's right on the edge of the park. But whatever. Let's let's have a go. So not 250. It's going to be 450. Let's completely rip you off if you want to go on the swinging ship. And uh, no, it's all, it's all the wrong colour. We're having it oranges and kind of nice yellows and definitely not blue. That can be red. Yes, that looks far better. And that kind of, that colour there can be a sort of slightly less orange. There you go, like that. That's perfect. Yes, I like that. So we'll have that, um, that down to 75. And you get three swing. Yeah, three swing seems fair. That seems absolutely fine. So, oh yeah, we need to give that a name now. So that's the swinging ship. Yeah, that's a bit, that's a, a bit, I mean, it's very descriptive. I was going to say it's unimaginative, which I suppose it, it is, but it does exactly what it says, doesn't it? It is a swinging ship. Let's try and think of something a bit better. There we go. I like that. A little bit of alliteration. Peg Leg Pete's Pirate Peril. Why the heck not? That'll do. So, okay, yes, thank you. Right, and let's open that up. So that's 450 to have a go on that. And now we are a little bit short on the cash. I mean, yeah, we're earning 576 per month, but we're a little bit short right now. So what we might need to do is just save the monies for a bit. We could do with some kind of theming stuff. Again, we're going to need these pavilion things over the queue over here. 
So let's get that in. Uh, oh, yep, the wrong height. Absolutely fine. Let's bring it down to normal height. Yay, ground height stuff. Right, let's get those in. Excellent. They are in. People are going in already, which is very, very exciting indeed. That's very encouraging. So that's already in. Uh, it's swinging back and forth. No one's on it quite yet. I mean, we could have waited until someone's in the queue, but right you are. What the um, what are the stats on that? Medium, medium, low. And that's all right. I'm pretty happy with that. That's absolutely fine. So I'll take that. That's going to bring in some more people. That's going to be very exciting. Umbrellas has been out of stock for 20 minutes. Is that the umbrellas? Why can you not reach it? Surely you can reach it. Uh, Delivering umbrellas. Oh, it's being worked on. It's being worked on. Worry not, everybody. You can have umbrellas soon. Right. And here it is. Here's the ship. Here's Peg Legs Pete. Peg Leg Pete's Pirate Peril. <laughs> which I've named it something that I can't say. Okay. Let's have a look. What did you all think? What did you all think? Did you think it's brilliant? It takes a long while to stop, doesn't it? Good grief. Right. Okay. And let's see what people thought. I want to go on it. I want to go on something a bit more intense than Peg Leg Pete's Pirate Peril. Well, we're on it. We're working on it. We're getting more intense things. Oh, hang on. Added some more stuff. Peg Leg Pete's Pirate Peril was awesome. Okay, good. So that's encouraging. Now, the only thing is, yeah, there's not much in the way of seating or anything up this way now. We could do with some sort of benches and fences and stuff like that. So, right, let, let's get that done. Because, yeah, we've got our picket fences all the way down to here and some seats and stuff. Then it kind of ends over here as I've just expanded over this way to get to the water. <laughs> so, how about we sort this out with um, maybe some plants or something there as well and something on that wall. And then kind of uh, fences and seats and trash bins and all that kind of stuff. I've just noticed with some horror that I've used the wrong road service. I've got metal. Oh, you look absolutely delighted. Sabrina Charles, you look very, very happy with life right now. Even though the floor changes from lovely, lovely brick to ludicrous orange metal. I might have to sort that out as well. I'm not happy with that. That is just horrible. So, yeah, I meant that one, didn't I? I should have picked that. Oh, dear. Hang on. Yeah, that's, that's brick. Oh, we can't change it without undoing it all, can we? Brilliant. Okay. Uh, right. Well, let's go through and very carefully change this from metal flooring back to the lovely paved flooring that it's supposed to be. Okay, there we go. Right. That's better. Now, let's get back to putting the fences and the benches and such like down. Okay, there we go. That looks far, far better. I do like that. So the idea being, because this is a pirate ship, this is Peg Leg Pete's Pirate Peril, I wanted this bit to feel a little bit more like sort of a pirate island, like we had originally in mind way back when we started this a couple of parts ago. But I wanted this to sort of have a more piratey feel. So I've built a little area here we can go and have a sit down. There's benches and bins. And I put cannons in. So some cannons there. Quite a lot of palm trees scattered around, which is very, very good. And then just here... I've got a treasure chest, which is open, and, and a skull, because yeah, there's skull and crossbones and all that. I can't find crossbones, but a skull will do just fine. And then, under the water, I've put a, another treasure chest just there, with the idea being that maybe the pirate ship has sailed to this island. It's found the X marks the spot just here, and the X is there, and that's where the treasure is. So yeah, the ship is going to have to go down, and you know, the pirate's going to dive in and get the treasure and bring it up and count the doubloons, yar, and all that kind of piratey nonsense. So yes, that's kind of what I've done. There's palm trees. What is the actual thing on that now, the decoration? Medium. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. That's made that far better than it was. And then, yeah, I like that. I've obviously got the path back to normal as it was. A couple more bins over here. And then some plant stuff along here. I've left this bit open. I've not put a fence along this bit yet. Because I think this is probably a good place for a ride or two. If we get something to fit in here, you know, well, that could technically fit just there. Maybe something could fit along here as well. So, yeah, we could make this into a little sort of ride area. I mean, it could even go under there if we wanted it to. Now, those paths need to link up at some point. Those paths could do with linking up at some point. Maybe we'll branch that off and bring that up and round. Possibly. Do you know what? That might be a good idea, actually. That might be a good idea to do. Let's bring that across to there. And then that can come this way. And then that can come up here and meet that just there. So we've got a little path around the edge. If you want to go and walk around the edge of the park, then you are most welcome to do so. What are you guys doing? Unless you come to go on the pirate ship. In which case, that is absolutely fine. But yeah, at the minute, if you wanted to go from here to there, you'd have to go out and walk all the way around there. Whereas now you can just take a shortcut out of here to the pirate ship. And yeah, there'll be something here. We'll find something exciting to go just here. And then, yeah, then we need to find something to go over here. Ah, now. Now, hang on. Wait a jolly second. We have got some sort of water thing, haven't we? Paddle boats. Guest operated pedal powered boats. Yes, little paddle boat thingamajiggers that are swans on there. That's that's not really the theme I was after, swans, but you know, whatever. And a log flume as well. Oh, this that could be very good. Right. Uh, I think 
let's get, I've never had paddle boats before. So let's put paddle boats in. And then if we have money, I mean, we might just save up for a little bit. Let's put the log flume in as well. I quite like the idea of having the log flume in as well, going over the water. So, you know, we can have a bit, maybe it could go over the paddle boats. So the log flume could be a feature and the paddle boats can go and look around and go, oh, look, they're, they're on a log flume. Ha <laughs> ha, you fools, you're going to get wet. And, you know, then the log flume people can be screaming in the paddle boat uh, sort of riders' faces, that kind of thing. And spin go fast is broken again. Yay. So let's get the paddle boats in, I think. Oh, my goodness. We were making almost a thousand monies. We are making quite a lot of money. Considering we're not charging an entrance fee, that is going very well indeed. Okay, yeah. So right, I, I've kind of cracked the key to the pricing the, the pricing structure. Just, just price everything quite high. Price everything quite high in Parkitect and you will be fine. Okay, so how do these paddle boats work then? I assume they need some sort of some sort of dock. So this looks like a dock area. Now is that like a station? It looks like it's acting like a station. So do I need to build more sections of these? So I'm going to build one just there. I mean, this bit looks quite flat. This bit here looks like a flat, long section of something where we could put lots of these boats. So let's have one there. Um, and then we stretch it out what way? Uh, hang on. Th this way? Stretch out that way. Oh, right. Oh, it goes that way. Oh, right. Hang on. Right, hang on a moment. Demolish that. So we need to build it at this end. <laughs> we build it here. Even though they're going out that way, we stretch it back that way. Okay. So it can be like that. So that can be a lot of paddle boats going around. Is that going to be a ridiculous amount of paddle boats? Do you know what? I feel as though that might be a silly amount of paddle boats. Let's get rid of that. Let's let's try again. Here we go. Right. Come on. We can get this right. Let's not have quite so many. One. No, no, no. Like that is like that's fine. So we'll have one, two, three, four sections of it. Right. That's the queue on the way in. So we'll have the queue in at the near end. No, the far end. And then you can come out and go over to that way. So, yeah. So, we'll have the queue in just there. The out queue just there. Okay. How does this work? How does it... I mean, obviously, we need to connect the paths up and stuff. But what do we need to do with this? So we've got... Right. Budget can come down. Because, yeah, it's only water. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Drowning. But apart from that, what's the worst that could happen? So, we can have four boats. Okay. That's fine. Swan boats. Oh, paddle boats. That's far better. That's far better. I was going to say swans don't really fit the sort of the environment that we've got going on. But yeah, paddle boats is much better. You get two minutes. <laughs> Please paddle quickly. And the boats can be orange and uh, orange and uh, yellow like that. Lovely. A beautiful orange and yellow combo. OK, I'm going to charge a bit more than 150. Let's charge three to go on that. Because, in fact, you know what? Let's charge 350. Let's charge 350 to go on that. Right, and then we need to get all the paths and stuff sorted. So that is going to come to there, like that. And then the queue can come around here. Now, where is the... Um, where are we going to put the log flume queue? The log flume could go along here, so we might need a path to come round anyway. So I don't know if this is going to be that popular a thing. I don't know if this is going to be that popular an attraction. So let's bring that to there for now. And then we'll grab ourselves a queue. And the queue can sort of go along like that. That'll do. The queue can go like that. And the exit can be just there. That's fine. Right. And then we'll open that up. Now, what's, what the, what's the bump? Low, low and very low with low decor. Yes, I suppose that is technically correct. Okay, right. Well, let's open that. And see what happens. Okay, so they're like, oh, they're little kind of yellowy paddle boat things. Okay, fine. So let's see if anyone goes on this. Is anyone actually going to care about this? Is anyone interested in the very unexciting paddle boats? No, it doesn't seem anybody cares. <laughs> That's fine. That's okay. I'm not so bothered. Um, a post about Peg Leg Pete's Pirate Peril on social media went viral. <gasps> An increase in customers. That means more monies. Oh, hang on. Hang on. People are suddenly wanting to go on this. Okay, two people. Three, three people. Three, four, pe three people. <laughs> You're indecisive. You are very indecisive. Armando Gray, go and do something. Oh, look, you're out there having a little pedal around. Hello, folks. Enjoy pedaling around. There you go, round that way. So I guess they need stuff to sort of look at. How about a massive rock? What about a massive rock? <gasps> Could we make a little island? Oh, hang on. Could we make a teeny tiny island somewhere and put some treasure on it, like a sandy island, and put some treasure on it? Is, is that doable? Come on, that must be doable. Right, let's try and raise the ground. So lift that up. 
Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's fine. Yeah, I'm taking that. Good. And then last little bit raised. Yay. Right, okay. And then maybe we bring that down. So that they're in the water. That I quite like that. I like the fact that those trees are in the water. That's okay. I'm not that bothered. But we have to remember that this does cost money to do this. Another six dollars going around there. And there we go. And another bit. Seven twenty. Three sixty. Yeah, it costs quite a bit of money. Um, I'm I'm gonna get rid of the tree because it's in the way of where the boats are gonna go. So okay, that's fine. I'm happy with that. Uh, ooh, not so happy with that. However, there we go. That's lovely. And then we'll demolish that tree and that tree. Farewell, trees. It wasn't nice knowing you. Right, and then sand. So let's have a sandy island kind of in the middle. We'll just blob it out like that. Oh, that looks just awful. Hang on. Let's try and make it look slightly more slightly more organic around the edge like that. So, so you know, a sandy sort of uh, bit that you're going to find. So, you know, just dot, dot a few sandy bits around like that. Yeah, sand all over the place. And then on that island, we want to get like a palm tree and a rock and a treasure chest and a skull. Kind of replicate this really over here. So let's go and grab that because that's quite fun. So we'll have the the open treasure chest, I think. Uh, no, in fact, no. No, 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 no. Not that. Not that. Let's grab the... Oh, actually, I wonder if we can do something even better. Can we put a big X on there? Can we put a big cross on there somehow? Is that something we can do? So let's grab some palm trees. Hang on, we'll have you. You're a palm tree. You'll do. So we'll put a palm tree sort of there. That's nice. And then we'll grab a different sort of palm tree. There's a little sort of stubby one there. You'll do. So we put you on this side, maybe, just on there, like that. I like that. Right, and now is there anything in here? It's going to be like shapes. I just want like a, a bar almost, just a flat, a flat bar. And that might be a border. Yeah, like this. A diagonal cornice. Okay, yeah, we had some of these before, didn't we, in the first part, and I never figured out what they were. But okay, yeah, a diagonal cornice in... Can we have a... Is there a half? Half slope? Oh, no, I don't want it to be sloped. I want a half cornice, ideally, if anything. Half cornice. Yeah, okay. So can we... Oh, right, how do we do the... How do we adjust the positioning of this ever so slightly? Oh, no, right, okay. No, that that's not going to work. Right, let's go back to the full cornice. Okay, so the cornice is now a kind of very, very dark grey, if not black, but it's very, very dark grey. So if we put one there and then flip it round and one there, it looks like an X. Like an X, but X marks the spot. Yes, I quite like that. And then I just want to get a few little rocks and things and just chuck them around as well. So uh, yeah, rocks, a small rock. Um, do you know what that'll do? Just there will be fine. And then maybe a rock just there as well. That's nice. So there we go, look. And then we've got like a little X marks the spot type thing. So it's like a little pirate sort of island. And you know, you can like, poodle around it. Now I should possibly put some sort of barriers up to stop people getting out of their boat and getting onto the pirate island or something. But I'm not going to. Also, do I need to put something over here? Do I need to put some sort of fence across here to stop the boat riders going over here and interfering with this? I don't really want them to come past kind of this point, really. I might need to stop them doing that. There we go. That looks pretty good. So there's kind of like a roped off fence type thing, which I've deployed across there. But then because that was kind of floating in the air, I just went and got these wooden pillars and just placed them underneath, under the water, underneath each of the floating kind of pillars that were there. And that looks pretty good. That looks like it's supposed to be looking like that. And then hopefully... Hopefully the little swan boats will not go through there and interfere with the operations over here of our pirate ship. Okay, well they're not swan boats, are they pedal boats? You know what I mean, the pedally boat things. Okay, that's pretty good. We've got a little pirate island with an X. It's all very encouraging. So now I think we need to leave uh, leave it running for a short while just to see. Yeah, now that's nearly done, isn't it? We're going to get a wooden coaster soon. So the next things are, I want to get a log flume and I want to get a wooden coaster. They're the two things that I want to get in. I think they'll both be pretty big draws. Now, what we need to do is we might 1160 a month are you joking i've never made anything that profitable ever the ride admissions imagine if we were charging park admissions we'd be rolling in the money okay right they finished their research that is very encouraging so now we have a wooden coaster we have a wooden coaster i think next the next thing we'll get we'll get 400 people into the park at some point where are we on that 294. So if we get 400 people, we'll get the steel coaster. I don't think we need to do any more coasters. So let's get us maybe another thrill ride or possibly a shop. We could get some shops in. They're not going to bring in the big bucks. They're not going to bring people in. Let's get some thrill rides. 
Let's get another thrill ride or two in, and because we're earning quite a bit of money, let's double your budget. Yes, aren't I a benevolent overlord of a theme park? There we go. You've got 200 monies now. 200 monies per month to invest on thrill rides, which is very exciting. Thank you for doing a wooden coaster for us. Okay, so I think the last thing we're doing this part, I think, is let's get the log flume in. Get the log flume in. The log flume can kind of come around this end here, maybe. And maybe we'll do another similar arrangement with a fence like that. But over here, so the log flume can kind of come down here and go around here a few times and see how that works. Because, yeah, I don't, don't, I don't want to interfere with these now, think about it. I don't know if the log flume coming over here will interfere with the little pedal boat things. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, right. Let's get ourselves a log flume. Where do you want to build it? I think over there is a pretty good bet. Ah, now I see the problem here. I see the problem. I've got that, and that to me is pretty good. It goes that way. It goes up very high. It's all lovely. We can fence that bit off. The problem is I've ran out of money. So I need to speed time on in order to keep earning money to build the bits of the coaster. Because obviously it's 1200 to just build the initial kind of first bit, and then it's extra money from then on to build all the other bits. So yeah, I've, I've kind of burned through our money there. So let's go through this, and so we can have a curved bit there. Then can we have a, a wibbly bit? So a wibbly bit, and then it can come down a great deal. So we'll have it plummeting down like that. I quite like that. And then can it go? Can it go? Can it go over? Hang on. Can it? Can it do this? Is is this going to be not possible? Can it go up and over? No, it can't. It cannot go up and over there because that that is ludicrous. Okay, what we might need to do is under all that. Don't have the wibbly bit. Don't have a wibbly bit. Just have a bit that goes down, say, like that. Can it go down three? And then can it level out? Oh, hang on a minute. No, not quite like that then. So like that, possibly. And then can it do that and level out? Hang on, what did I do before then? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Downwards. Massive drop. Two massive drops. A shorter drop. And then, and then another shorter drop. And then straight. And then like that. And then have it go, it can't go right and then right again. I want it to kind of go underneath itself if at all possible, but it can't. Ah, oh, that's really frustrating. Right, okay, we might need to just move that over a bit. Right, okay, hang on. Recent negative news decreased the interest in theme parks again. Yay, thanks negative news people. You are really helping. Right, okay, so then we want it to go to the right and then, and then plummet. So one, two, so three plummets is not good. So let's have it two big plummets and a shorter plummet. Then it can go flat for a bit, like that. And then it can turn right and right. And then it can go straight on. So it can go under itself, is what I'm thinking. Because this is all, you, you don't need momentum for this. You need momentum for the big drops. Ah, big drop. And then we can go to the right. I think we can probably go under the thing here. So yep, so we'll have well, some of that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's lovely. It kind of ties itself in knots. That's okay, I don't so much mind that. And then to the right, and to the right, and to the right. And then we need to go up. Can we do that? Can we go up? Uh, no, not not quite. Okay, we need to go like that, straight. Then maybe another straight bit. Then to the right, then to the right, and then up. Can we, can we do this? Is that going to allow us to do that? Yes, it is. Right, this can go even higher than the other one. This could, yeah, okay, this could climb up. This could be a massive, terrifying log flume. <laughs> Is that going to be a bit much? I think that might be a bit much. Let's get it at 10, the height of 10, <laughs> which is probably fine. And then it can come to the right, and it can go like that, and go along a bit, and then it can come like that, and then can it just, can it just hurtle down the side of the, side of the mountain there? The side of the caldera. And then it can just peter out at six. And what do I need to be? Six. Oh, it's at the, it's at the perfect height. Yes, and to the right, and beautiful. Okay, is this terrifying? High, low, and very high excitement. That is very good. Okay, look, and it loops round itself. I've done a thing, and it actually might be half decent. Oh, no, but you, you wobble, you're stood underneath, it's stuck underneath there. Right, we need our little sort of uh, fence arrangement from there to be repeated over here, or else we're going to get people stuck in here, which is which is not good. We're going to get people stuck in the log flume kind of system. Uh, okay, right, entrances and ex exits and all that kind of stuff need to go on. 
Okay, so it's connected to a path. I've brought the path kind of round this way. So it goes from over here. I've called these paddle boat things, by the way, never skip leg day because, because oh my goodness me, they are very much hard on your legs. So that is never skip leg day. So it comes past those and then it comes along here and then down back around here. So it connects up along here. And the um, the, the log flume itself is called the Splash Master Deluxe just because I kind of like the name. And we're going to absolutely rip people off that. We're going to charge 450 to go on that. Thank you very much. And um, I don't think there's much to do. Cars can be that sort of nice golden colour. That's lovely. And tracks. Can we change the track colours? Oh, we can change the legs. We can change the colours of the leg bits. Okay. Can we have any other colours changing? Or is it all just that? Oh, that's the edge. So what colour is that bit? So can we change that to brown? Do you know what? That looks okay. I like that. We'll have that. That looks lovely. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Budget. Just bring the budget down a teeny bit. Save us some monies. Okay. And now I think we can open that. So we'll open that and we'll see how successful this all is. So yeah, we need to get you out of there really, don't we? Mr. Pedal Boat person. We need to get you out of there because that's just very silly. Now who's going to be the first? Who is going to be the first to go on this? Let's wait for somebody to go on it. Um, at the minute, not not really garnering much attention, but it'll get there. It'll get there. Yes, well done. Hello, hello, sir or madam. Come along and enjoy the log flume. Okay, so the early feedback is kind of mixed. Some people are saying it's awesome, and some people are saying I want to go on something a bit more intense. But okay, that's fine. But overall, I think it's going quite well. The satisfaction is 62%, and it's going up. And it's quite, do you know what? It's quite good. That's one of my better kind of creations, because you've got one big drop, so you go, wee, come down here, big drop. Then you utilize the space that we've got, because we've not got loads of room. So that comes back underneath where we already are, two bits, back round here, and then up and up and up for an even bigger drop from up there. So that's a bit higher, down to here, splosh -ty splosh all very good. We've got a pirate island there. These things are doing quite nicely, I assume. I want to go on Never Skip Leg Day. Very good. Bubble Tea has been out of stock for a little while. You should possibly get on that haul of people. Come on, you've only got two bits of shops to do. Can you hurry up? And that is lovely. That is perfectly timed. We have Twister. Twister is available for us to go and get. It's April year two. But you know what? I think let's leave it there for now. That is in. That's very good. I like that. That might be my new favorite thing over there. And then very soon, hopefully, what are we on? 376. So very soon, I think next time out, we'll get to 400 park tickets and we will get the steel coaster. We'll get the steel coaster, we'll save up our money, and we'll build a gigantic roller coaster that goes all the way around the edge of the island. Because I think, I think that'll be a very good thing to have. I think that will be a very, very fun ride. And people will queue up, and it'll all be very popular and very good. I mean, how are we going to get onto it? I don't know. Maybe it'll just be here. Maybe it'll start just here, and it'll have to go up kind of that way, and then go wee all the way around, and then kind of cut back round and come in here. Possibly. I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. But look, it's got a little pirate island with an X for marking the spot. I like that. I'm, I'm quite proud of that. Also, it looks a little bit, if you look up here, a little bit like a kind of face, almost, with a kind of sort of a, a plus mouth. A couple of eyes, kind of hair, or eyebrows, whatever, and then a kind of hmm, kind of mouth. Or, or is that? That's just me. It's just me. I've, I've been playing on the computer too long. I need some more tea. So yeah, let's leave it for there. Uh, leave it for now. And yeah, we're doing very, very, we're doing very well indeed. So that is, that's encouraging. It's encouraging. I think next time, if we run it forward, I think we might be able to get to our 800 goal and get off of this level because there's only so much level we've got left. There's not that much room. There's not that much room in here now. There's only so much space. So yeah, we're working our way through it. So yeah, come back next time and you can see how we get on. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, please do leave a like and also please do subscribe just to keep up to date with how we get on on this particular Park Tech level. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. Ted, run, 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 Ted, 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 run quicker, Ted. Oh, Ted is green. Oh dear. Timmy is looking very bad. Okay, there's still the same amount of water. I'm guessing we didn't get robbed. Ah, we got robbed. In no way is this going to break the radio, Ted. And you've broken the radio, Ted.